The word we are learning today is tan, which means carbon. The character is made up of two parts. Shi means stones, and tan means charcoal. Together, they form the character for carbon, tan, which is a chemical element with the symbol C and atomic number six. In recent years, di tan, which means low carbon, is a word that has gained popularity in China. Chinese people now prefer di tan shenghuo, low carbon lifestyles, and the country has made a commitment to develop its low carbon economy. 加快绿色低碳转型，实现绿色复苏。We need to accelerate transition to a green and low carbon economy and achieve green recovery and development. Tan is also often used in Tan Da Feng and Tan Zhong He, which have become increasingly important in China's efforts to address climate change. Tan Da Feng refers to the goal of reaching peak carbon emissions before its decline. This is a critical step in reducing global carbon emissions and mitigating effects of climate change. Another important phrase related to carbon emissions is "tan zhong he," which refers to the goal of achieving carbon neutrality, meaning that the amount of carbon dioxide emitted is balanced by the amount removed from the atmosphere. Achieving carbon peak and carbon neutrality are intrinsic requirements of China's own high-quality development and solemn pledges to the international community. China will achieve in 2030 to achieve net zero carbon emissions by 2060. In 2060, it will achieve net zero carbon emissions by 2060. China will strive to peak carbon dioxide emissions before 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality before 2060. This requires tremendous hard work, and we will make every effort to meet these goals related to tan, carbon, tan. You 学会了吗？